do you want him to tell your story? So they published it in volume one. They sent them a story, and then they researched it on Facebook, and they looked at my art bio and all that, and they wrote an article. So I have an article in the volume one website. I also have a notice in the list, so they use that picture. So it says to copy that and put that up. So. <laughs> We just found out about that this morning. Oh, when I a know. friend of ours noticed and sent it to oh, us. It was Friday. Yesterday. I found out about that from our neighbors. Oh, that's right, yesterday. Yeah. Okay, now these are, this goes into a whole different realm here. Because this is ascending. And ascending, freedom, transition, release, new life. And I was creating this repainting in a response to a friend who was dying. She was very spiritual. Hi! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Savannah. Hi. This is Rachel, and this is a friend of Josie. This is Savannah. So you're in the middle of the tour. <laughs> and I was creating this painting in response to a friend who was dying. She was very spiritual, and I knew she was transitioning to a new way of being. It gave me comfort to know she was at peace on her journey. You know, how have you dealt with the knowledge that you knew someone was dying? How do we figure out how to support them? What I was doing was actually making these paintings, and then I was sending them to her via instant messenger. And at that point, I sent some of these paintings. She wasn't even at the point being able to respond when her husband was showing her. So she was like in her 40s, three young children dying of cancer. So Teresa was the woman's name. And when I first wrote this poem, I was almost in tears. It was interesting. So, you know, I, I guess I've made a sympathy card now. <laughs> Um, Teresa, waiting, communing, connecting with others is passing away. Friends, watching, supporting, knowing that they will miss you more than they can bear. You have made a difference. Your work in life continues on after your death. So, story of a friend in passing. She was a spiritual person, a mom, a wife, a lover of life. The many people in the tree represent just a few of, of his life she's touched on. And this is this over here. This is actually, I mean, I got a little bit of a poem. Snowy trees, snow covered trees waiting for fun. People arriving, jumping, hiding, running, climbing, dancing on the playground, nature provides. And you know, whenever I go, I see the world differently. I, I like to see it in different colors. And I was trying to paint this in the regular greens, and it just wasn't turning out right. And I realized that's because that wasn't me painting it. This is me painting the trees. And it goes back to when those trees, remember, they were all covered with snow, and they were, like, just laying down. And, you know, you could, like, see little areas between them. So. And then here's somebody jumping out, and, then, you know, they jump on a long one. <laughs> now, this is a whole different series here, so... These are acrylics, and I made mm -hmm. this face film, so, you know, I made my tree friends. And I, I transformed the bark into patterns to create movement, and then I had the trees create movement. And this is like an oldie but a good one. I like this one here. This one's Peacock View. I think it was back in 2017. And basically what I've done is I just used that layered color on color, color. And, yeah, Peacock View. And here's my acrylic collages. I just, you know, came in an acrylic and had some fun yarn. Put it all over the place. Any questions about it, this adventure here? I was trying to describe some of this to Peter on Friday. Yeah. <laughs> and here is electric tie dye jacket. I use a variety of types of watercolor, and how I get this effect is I will let it dry between some of the rows, and then you're gonna get less of the blending, but you can see in that middle piece, it almost looks like water, there's a lot of blending happening there. Just take that one, because I can. <laughs> this is Dragonfly Sun. My son Rowan Hagen helped a dragonfly who had a spider web on her waist. He carefully removed the spider web and twice the dragonfly landed on his cheek. Perhaps the dragonfly thought 
He was one of the fairy folk and welcomed him into their kingdom by landing on his cheek. Have you ever had an adventure with a dragonfly? <laughs> and here's the poem I came up with. Dragonfly son, gentle being honors the dragonfly by saving their wings from the dangers of web. Dragonfly honors the gentle being by giving them two dragonfly kisses. Gentle being becomes a fairy and joins the realm of the dragonfly. And I just came up with this portal to another realm. Um, how many times are we poised to step into the next realm, the next possibility? How will you decide if it's a positive choice? The mind may doubt our choice, but does our heart? How do we know when it's time to change? So here's the poem here. Portal to another realm. Poised to enter the other realm. Dancing on the edge of possibilities. What will be there? What will be found? I do not know. Oh, here's happy birthday.